And welcome back to yet another exciting week of the Lazy Money Game. In this week's episode, I will start by giving a brief update to my portfolio. And afterwards, I will talk about some key metrics when it comes to investments in real estate investment trusts, also known as REITs. And in particularly, why the PE ratio is a bad measurement to use if you want to invest in REITs. So I will explain the difference between earnings per share and funds from operations and why funds from operations makes more sense when it comes to investments in these REITs. So let's start with the portfolio update. The first thing we immediately notice is that there's a green circle for this week's episode, meaning that the portfolio is up in value compared to last week. So if we go to the portfolio values tab, you can see that the value of the portfolio has increased by $1,200. And at the same time, you can see that the cost has not changed, so I have still not purchased anything. And if we look at the overview, and let me just scroll up here, just so you can pause the video if you want to see the specifics of how the companies has developed within this week. If we then continue to my favorite tab, namely the dividends tab, then we can see that there has actually not happened anything within this week, since I'm still on $355 for this month so far. And if we scroll to the right here, we can see that the year to date dividend for 2021 has actually already surpassed what I received last year. And with a little more than five months to go of the year, I'm actually pretty happy with this result because that means that I have five months left to earn more passive income than what I earned the entire last year. If we then turn to the question why we should use funds from operations instead of earnings per share when it comes to REITs, then you can see here on Seeking Alpha, when I'm looking at Store Capital, which is a REIT in my portfolio, you can see here that they are using price divided by funds from operations instead of the classical PE ratio. So let me try to explain why funds from operations makes more sense when we are talking about real estate investment trusts investments. So first of all, what is the issue by using earnings per share? Well, earnings per share divides the net revenues, meaning revenues minus all costs, by the number of shares. Then the problem with using earnings per share is that certain costs are non-cash, such as depreciation and amortizations which are accounting procedures to deduct the cost of long-lived assets over a specified number of years. So what are some good examples of long-lived assets? Well, if you are using accounting terminology, then you usually refer to property, plant and equipment as long-lived assets. And when it comes to real estate investment trusts, there is No way around it, they have a lot of property, since that is actually their main product. The issue now arises since non-cash expenses distort the amount of money available for dividends as reported by earnings per share. And since we have just established that REITs are very sensitive to depreciation expenses due to the fact that the majority of the assets are actually depreciable physical properties, and that these expenses don't impact the cash a REIT makes. So now that we have established why earnings per share is a bad metric to use, since it doesn't handle the cash flow that well, then let's turn to funds from operations and see why this is a better metric to use. So funds from operations is equal to the REIT's net income excluding gains or losses from sales of property and adding back real estate depreciation. So in other words, funds from operations is roughly equivalent to cash flow per share because it adds back these non-cash charges. So hopefully this makes it more clear why it is a better metric to use price divided by funds from operations when it comes to real estate investment trusts such as store capital. So how do I use this price divided by funds from operations? Well, I view it very similarly to how I would view a PE ratio, meaning 
if the stock is trading above a PE ratio, or in this case, a price to funds from operations above 15, well, then I should really consider if it's an investment that I want because they should grow the business with the same percentage points as their price to funds from operations is. So in this case of store capital, meaning that the company should grow around 20% a year in order for this to be worth my money to invest in. And that is why when I initially invested in this company, where they were trading around a price to funds from operations of about 18, I actually said that perhaps I'm actually paying a little too much for this company, even though I really think it's a magnificent company that I would really like to have in my portfolio. So when I bought them, I actually didn't have the margin of safety, which I actually think is really key to have. Because I really believe that is the major point of the intelligent investor, that margin of safety is the absolutely most important thing to have when you're doing an investment. So if we go back to my portfolio, despite the fact that I am actually up 10.5% on this investment, I'm actually not sure that this was a good investment to do at the time when I did it. And this leads me to my next point where I once again remind myself about the words from Warren Buffett, namely, you are not right or wrong because people are agreeing or disagreeing with you. You are right because your facts checks out. So in the case of store capital here, what have I learned? Well, I have learned that I was too impatient when I did my investment, but just because you were wrong doesn't mean that you can't make money. And this is very obviously the case here, since I'm still up more than 10% in this stock, despite the fact that I think that I have bought them without the margin of safety. And what am I using this knowledge for? So today, for instance, or previously, when people have asked me why I'm not investing into Apple when I think it is an absolutely wonderful business, well, then it's due to the fact of what I have learned here with Store Capital saying at the prices which that company Apple is currently trading at, I simply don't think that the earnings justify that valuation. But whether the Apple stock would be a good investment today, 10 years from now, only time will tell. So that actually sums it up for yet another exciting week of the Lazy Money Game. So hopefully you now know the difference between earnings per share and funds from operations and why it makes much more sense to use funds from operations when it comes to investments in real estate investment trusts due to the fact that funds from operations takes these non-cash appreciation and depreciations into account when it comes to physical properties which are the majority of real estate investment trusts. So until I see you next Sunday, remember to leave a comment like the video or consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps me out. And until I see you next Sunday, bye.